a reflection for the lesson I delivered on March 9th, uh, 2023 at McGee High School uh, for Science A class. My essay is Kate Robchan and my FA is Brad Price. Um, this was last block, which is my more rambunctious block, a lot more uh, boy energy, maybe you could call it. Um, it, it, it was fine. I, I got the job done, but I mean, I had to kick three of the students out and, uh, it, it did feel like one of the more chaotic lessons that I have given, uh, during my practicum here at McGee, uh, which is, you know, chaos is, is something that you can't always fight. You sometimes just have to embrace it and, uh, let it happen. But, uh, yeah, that, le that lesson was a struggle. Uh, I mean, obviously, I don't like to kick the students out. That's not something I enjoy. But it is a very useful tool, especially with the uh, grade 8 boys, because I think they do want to be in the classroom. I think they do have uh, fun in the classroom. Actually, that's probably part of the problem. They're probably having too much fun in the classroom, and that's why the, the behavior escalates like it does. Uh, so when they get kicked out, uh, first, first of all, they might be embarrassed. And second of all, they, it's, a, it, you know, they're, they're standing outside while the, while the rest of the cl class gets to have fun, uh, especially on a, a lab activity, which, which was a lot of fun. I think the kids did have a lot of fun. Uh, it's just that kind of escalation of, of chaos. And when you are working on chem with chemicals, it's not really acceptable that you we need a baseline level of, of order and respect and attentiveness so that you know if something was to happen we can bring the class down and and deal with that uh a good example of that was uh, uh one of the boys abishek absent-mindedly when he was taking off his safety goggles threw them kind of across the desk at his um friend oscar and uh he the, the chemicals were out on the desk and it hit it and some of it spilled but it could have spilled on oscar or uh and that wouldn't have been a huge problem with the chemicals we were working with but they don't know that you know they i mean for all they know it could have been a big problem um so i i, I just kicked them out immediately uh, i just said i uh and I didn't really like the language I used. I think I said Abhishek, that was extremely dumb. And uh, then just kicked him out. Uh, but yeah, I didn't have time to kind of... Uh, I definitely just needed that uh, during that lesson to kind of slow down and stop the class and kind of explain things better and kind of... Uh, get feedback that they were listening, but um, I don't know. It, it was just, it was so chaotic. My uh, my instinct was just to power on, you know, just power through the lesson, just keep going. And uh, definitely, definitely need to uh, check those instincts sometimes, I think, because um, I think that's an instinct with everything. It's like, like public speaking as well. Like when things aren't going kind of well, the instinct is to speak faster and just get it over with, but uh, you definitely just want to slow down when things aren't going well. Slow down, get control. Uh, you know, the break would do do them well. So one thing I thought of that I, I don't know if it work, like if if they are just chaotic and I haven't handed out the chemicals yet, I'll just take a seat and wait till. And then eventually, maybe they'll realize that you know this is, it's not going to continue until they settle down or maybe they'll just go the right it would be an interesting experiment um but yeah i think uh i was trying to phase out question of the day that's why i didn't do it but uh you know i got the got job done i got they did the lab they had fun um no one got hurt so uh, on paper everything looks good i i introduced the research project but it's just uh 
you know, the constant interruptions. It's, um, it's something I would like to, uh, cause that in that class, they don't, they don't raise their hand. They just talk. Um, I don't know if that's something they got from elementary school, but you know, if, if that was my class and I did have to teach them for a full semester, it, it would, it would be something that, um, I would bring up in the beginning and then definitely develop some kind of system. My system right now is just, is just this warning system. So I get one, two, three warnings and it works pretty well, but, um, I just think that there, there's got to be a, a better way, but I only have these kids for another three weeks after spring break, I think. So, yeah, uh, I think it went fine. It definitely went smoother with my earlier class. I think they learned something. They had fun. So that's the most important thing. Cheerio.